Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ali, I'm a doctor working in Cambridge, and this is yet another study with me video, where for some reason people seem to enjoy watching me go about menial activities like washing the dishes, brushing my teeth, and occasionally doing some work. The evening starts at around 6.40pm when I get back home from a hard day of stamping out disease and saving lives. I procrastinate for half an hour by making a cup of peppermint tea, trying on a new t-shirt and beanie that I bought to hide my receding hairline, and getting rid of the scraggly beard that had accumulated over the past week. Work officially starts at 10 past 7, and for half an hour I'm starting the muscles topic of human physiology by scoping the subject. What this means is that before I try and read, understand, or memorize anything, I'm going through the whole topic and trying to categorize the subject into different headings. That means that I get a rough overview of everything in the topic, and so when I come across specific bits of information, I can hang them in the relevant place in the overall structure. This is one of the most important and underappreciated parts of effective studying. Back in my youth, I used to relish jumping straight into a topic from page one. But now that I take the time to scope the subject first, I find that the understanding of the subject comes a lot quicker. In these videos, lots of people comment asking what specific apps I'm using. And while I'm a sucker for productivity apps, I don't think there are many cases where the specific app actually makes much of a difference. Good notes versus notability, OneNote versus Evernote, Todoist versus things. It's all basically the same stuff. And the important thing is how we understand and apply the general principles of productivity and effective studying rather than the specifics of which app we're using. The only exception in my recent memory has been using Notion, which I won't talk about in this video, but I think the design of that particular app encourages our brain to think in more interesting ways, and I'll link some of my specific Notion videos down below if you want to check those out. Anyway, in this video, to make a point, I'm specifically not frolicking with Notion, the new hot girl in class. Instead, I'm using the bolding, middle-aged but reliable Microsoft OneNote and typing out all the headings and subheadings from our lecture notes. I'm using a split screen setup in PDF Expert, which is a PDF reader app for the Mac, with the type lecture notes on one side and the overhead projector diagrams on the other side, which I think our lecturer used to increase his street cred with the students, clearly. So this is what I do until 7.45 p.m. when I switch over to Keynote and begin working on preparing the teaching session for my physiology students. I start by building up the basic story of neuromuscular transmission, and for each point here, I write some questions that I'll ask the students to answer during our supervision. The reason I'm writing questions rather than notes is because A, they've got the notes already, and B, active recall, i.e. testing ourselves, is the single most effective learning technique ever, and I've got a lot of videos exploring this in much more depth if you haven't come across it before. But just as a quick reminder, if we're currently unhappy with our grades or how much time we're having to put into studying for our exams, Chances are we just aren't testing ourselves enough. And if we were to focus our study efforts on testing ourselves with the book closed, we'd magically find that our grades will improve. And by the way, this isn't just my opinion. It's backed up by decades of research published in peer-reviewed academic papers, which again, I explain in much more depth in my other videos about active recall. At 8.15 p.m., I get off my proverbial soapbox, having been focusing quite intently for an hour, and I lounge on the sofa, figuring out what to order for dinner. I decide on a Polo Ad Astra Romana pizza from Pizza Express, and then feel bad about spending so much money on a completely unnecessary takeaway. To feel better about myself, I decide to watch some videos on Skillshare, a platform where I host my own classes and who are very kindly sponsoring this video. These days, I'm working my way through Mike Vardy's productivity class, which talks about how to set up a robust productivity system that isn't reliant on any particular app. One issue that I'm working through with my own productivity system is how to make it as app agnostic as possible meaning that if Evernote or Notion or Todoist were to shut down, I'd easily be able to port my system over to any other app or even pen and paper if I had to. Another course I really like is my friend Thomas Franks, again about productivity just because I'm completely obsessed with productivity, and he talks about how to manage a to-do list, a calendar, a filing system, and other cool things. And if you'd like to see more of me, I've got my own three and a half hour course on how I edit these very videos, aimed at beginners who want to get into this whole video editing, YouTubing type thing. If any of that sounds up your street, you can click the link in the video description to get a two month free trial of Skillshare where you can watch any or all of the classes. And then when your trial's up, you can choose to sign up to the subscription, which is less than $10 a month. And even though they sponsor my videos, I still pay for my monthly Skillshare subscription and it is genuinely worth the money, especially if you watch my own classes. From 9 p.m. I do much of the same thing where I go through the lecture notes really slowly making sure firstly that I understand everything that they're talking about, and secondly, writing some active recall questions in my keynote for the students. If I wasn't interested in making a teaching session out of this, I'd still obviously be writing down the active recall questions, again, because it is the single most effective study technique ever, but I'd write them down in OneNote or Notion or Evernote or whatever note-taking app I was using that month. 
In fact, one of my friends ranked second in medicine in the whole university out of 350 incredibly bright Cambridge University students. And the only thing he did to study was write active recall questions for himself and then just go through them repeatedly. I'm working on a video where I explain the strategy in depth. So if you're keen to find out more, then please sign up to Skillshare with my link to help support the channel and leave a comment down below and I will do my best to expedite that process. Wink emoji. Food arrives at half past nine. And so I sit at the dining table and try to read a physiology textbook on my iPad while stuffing my face with slightly cold pizza. Pretty quickly, I realized that cold pizza is not ideal. And so I give it a quick blast in the microwave, which of course makes it taste much better. Don't at me. From 10 p.m., I find my concentration beginning to waver. And so I make myself some chamomile and manuka honey tea and then lie on the sofa reading the book Nerve and Muscle. Here, I'm using the app Notability to read the PDF and making occasional notes in the margin to help me understand what's going on. I also flag up some bits that I think would make for good reference material for the essays that me and my students will have to write. Sorry, my students and I, that was terrible. By 10.30 p.m., I decide that I've had enough, and so I brush my teeth, wash the dishes, change into my pajama scrubs and head into bed for an early night. I read on my Kindle for around half an hour. These days, I'm reading the fantasy book Ruin, which is part of the Faithful and the Fallen series by John Gwynn, and then I call it a night. So that's it for another Study With Me video. I hope you found that at least somewhat useful. If you did, please do me a favor and sign up to Skillshare because it really helps support the channel and watch my video editing class <laughs> if you want to learn how to edit videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely evening and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Alexa, lights off in the bedroom.